Most journalists um, are internet dependent, but few have um, uh, real knowledge of how to research on the internet. One. Two, they have even less knowledge about how to secure what they do on the internet. Mm -hmm. In other words, so their sources, their work, their stories themselves are entirely visible. There's nothing private. There's nothing, no way to protect your, your sources um, unless you use sophisticated tools. And most journalists don't know how to do that. So we found our role is to, in fact, involve ourselves directly in those two areas. One is we're involved on many different levels. Um, um, supplying the methodology and the tools to protect yourself. And also, um, we use a lot of methods to, to exploit the Internet, to find people, find ideas even, to find the history of subjects that uh, most reporters, sadly, don't, don't do. I think that a lot more now do it than they did before. But still, there are many who don't, who don't. They just know how to Google. They don't know how to do anything else. So, in a sense, that's what we started with that. And then we realized, of course, that a strange thing happened. That, in other words, to get the um, – this started about five years ago. In other words, to get the security we require when it became clear to us after Julian Assange and WikiLeaks that the government and spies were everywhere yeah. in this world, it became very obvious to us that we had to protect people, which put us into contact with a whole stratum of people, most of whom were hackers or what would be called hackers, but are basically – um, sort of amateur technologists, and they know more about stuff than most of the professionals. So we found ourselves in a working relationship with hackers in many countries, and, um, and particularly in Germany, but also in Italy and other places too. So the, the, um, uh, it's changed the whole nature of what we do and how we do it.